think I was so much of a tomboy growing up, but... Racing and monster trucks and rock crawling has all sort of evolved since then. I was definitely around motors all the time in my dad's garage, and I always wanted to drive anything I could get behind the wheel of. So initially it was just family trail wheeling and camping, just going off-road. And about um, a decade or so ago, competition rock crawling came onto the scene. My husband started as a spotter I would come on cheerlead, basically, and, and just watch. Well, I kind of learned all the ins and outs of the sport. About 2006, I, we sort of decided to form our own team, and I just ate it up, wanted more. That was a hard hit, dude. I just held on. I was putzing around on some rocks, and a good friend of ours ran over to me when I was on these rocks, and he said, whoa, 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 Nicole. This is for big boys. Oh, he thinks that I can't handle this. It sort of sparked something in me to prove that I could hang with the most qualified drivers in the world. And I've just sort of been on that quest ever since then. like I really had followed monster trucks before. And I won racing my first night out, and I was like, well, okay, cool. Being in a Monster Jam truck is like being in a cartoon. The thing weighs 10,000 pounds, and it's 12 feet tall, and it has 1,500 horsepower. And when you, when you climb into it, I mean, literally, your seat is about eight feet in the air, and you're crushing Cadillacs. It's cool. I'm the coolest mom on the planet, right? I really like telling kids, you know, believe in yourself and stick to who you are. I don't think that it's necessarily cool to follow the crowd. Sometimes the crowd can deter you from what you want. I don't drink and I don't smoke. That's probably different than, than a lot of people in motorsport. But I wanted to present us as clean and organized and professional and family oriented as possible because I know that everybody's watching us, so it's really important to me that we are sort of true to ourselves.